I might just have to no see be the Pope. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing our A to Z challenge as Ak Kuyunlu. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 30% of you are subscribed and you can become a member today. So Ak Kuyunlu, huh? It's a nation located, well, not Chandra obviously, <laughs> it's a nation located right here sort of trapped between some larger nations, the Ottomans QQ and the Mamluks. They're usually known as the Ottomans sidekick since they often ally the Ottomans and if they don't, they get gobbled up pretty quickly once again by the Ottomans. So uh, we're in a pretty precarious position here. But what do we do as Ak Kuyunlu? They actually have really good national ideas, morale of armies, calf combat ability, leader shock, calf costs, CCR, manpower, goods produced. So really, really nice national ideas. Not a very good starting ruler. And as Akuyunlu, we can form Persia and Rum, but we got Artabil coming up, so let's not do two Persia videos in a row. And we'll try and form a Rum, and maybe even conquer Rome as Akuyunlu, a little tribal nation right here. So let's see if we can do it. As you guys know, last week's A to Z was inconclusive, so we'll try to either win or fail this one for sure. Just like you can win for sure, with the sponsor of today's video, Ace Defender. Ace Defender is a high quality SRPG masterpiece combining authentic turn based RPG battles with tower defense elements. This game also has a traditional RPG solo storyline with over 40 chapters. That's nearly 2000 levels. So, what's Ace Defender all about? Well, a rebellion in the Dragon Clan threatens the balance of good and evil in the world. Our heroine, Alpida the Silver Dragon Princess, escaped with the Creation Crystal to the human lands. There she awoke the Creation Crystal and summoned heroes to fight evil. With your help, of course. There are five hero factions too. Divine, Demon, Shadow, Nature, and Light. And there's currently 48 heroes, with two new heroes being released every week. You can level up, combine heroes, and equip gear to create a powerful lineup. There's also 1x, 2x, or 4x gameplay modes, so you can speed up or slow down the action. There's also solo mode, PvE mode, and PvP mode. And there's a huge reward for all newcomers too. If you download the game using the link in the description, you'll get 10 Royal Recruit tickets after competing levels 2 to 8. And you can use those tickets by clicking Sky City, then Tavern, then Recruit 10x. So click the link in the description, download Ace Defender, get your rewards, and start your story today. Now back to the video. Alright, alright, here we are, let's check our government, yep, we're a tribal federation, very bad government form, we only get minus 5 years of separatism, we're probably gonna wanna become a horde rum anyone? Hmm, let's see, let's see, horde rum, theocracy rum, republic rum, or monarchy rum, well, monarchy is kinda boring. Either way, let's get started and royal marry the Ottomans, boom, we'll be able to ally them pretty soon. Let's do some estate stuff. Ooh, why does the Demi control so much land? Probably because, well, half of our nation is Coptic. And by the way, we can become Coptic right away just by accepting these Coptic zealous demands which are already present here at the start of the game. But let's not do that, because we're Coptic, we can't form rum. So let me do some estate stuff. All right, estate stuff, done. Let's uh, do this, get some rivals going, maybe, sure, Dolkadir and Trebizond, why not? Let me get a Diplo rep or improve relations guy. Oh, nice, we should be able to ally the Ottomans. We can, we can. I got some claims over here from uh, an estate agenda and basically our missions force us to go this way and form Persia but let's not do that and let's spy on Dulkadir and Ramazan instead. What's our force limit? 11. All right, all right, not bad. Let me build a couple of more infantry guys and actually we got a really nice heir who's older than our ruler so we're gonna want to have our ruler die pretty soon. Oh nice force shock, I like that. So I guess he's not a bad general after all. So yeah, let me get a spy network going and I'll uh, try and conquer these guys real quick. The Ottomans have been allied. Brock QQ warned me, <laughs> which means I can't declare on his and Kaifa were, uh, well yeah, pretty much only his and Kaifa. It's fine, it's fine, we'll deal with you later QQ. Wait, can I get an achievement as Akuyunlu? Rise of the White Sheep. I need to beat up QQ before 1478. Well, it doesn't really seem in line with our goals, does it? I'll do it another time. Hey, there we go, I got a claim on Dulkadir. They are allied to the Great Horde. Bruh, why do I have to fight a Horde in 1445? Oh well, who cares, really? Well, I siege these guys down. Do we really have to go up here? <laughs> Why is it so painful, even at the start? Bra, I had to call on the Ottomans in my first war versus Delkadir. This just goes to show that I'm not actually a very good player. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, though. I mean, let's take some money from the Great Horde while we're at it, right? Nice. All right, well, that's all done. Will the Ottomans be angry with me? <laughs> they will be angry with me. <laughs> How about I just stay in this war perpetually until the Ottomans peace out? Nah, I can't do that. I need to declare on Karaman and Ramazan. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? 
Hey, this is how I'm gonna get some favors back with the Ottomans. Nice. And the Ottomans just white beast. Oh, we got 47 favors with the Ottomans. Dude, they didn't even do nothing. Well, either way, let's uh let's do a little trading favors for trust, shall we? Boom, there we go. Can we do it again? Wait, we might actually be able to do it again? Oh, we can. Huh, 40 trust? Well, let's get this up to 50. Why not? Easy 50 trust again, man. Easy. Nice. They don't even hate me for not giving them anything. Uh, I think we're gonna fight Karaman and Chandar now. Ottomans calling me in once again. Now I don't even have to fight Chandar when I fight Karaman. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Ottos. You're a very good, um, you're a very good ally. All right, let's hit Karaman. The Ottomans once again just white pieced. Is there something... Oh, they didn't white piece, they made them a vassal. Huh. That's actually not that common for the Ottomans. And they don't even have that much aggressive expansion. In fact, none at all. Time to say goodbye to Karaman, I guess. Oh well, you had a nice, uh, six years there. I mean, eight. Eight. I can't really do math. Mmm, lots of nations are angry. Who cares though? Who cares, am I right? Expand Akuyunlu? Nice. Let's, uh, let's core these up, huh? So, we're good on this front, can't declare Ramazan because they've also allied the Ottomans, so really, the only next expansion opportunity has to be in QQ. I can call in, well, I can't call in the Ottomans just yet. Man, my relations with the Ottomans went from 200 to 32. I guess they really didn't like me taking care of, man, huh? Well, that's a certified bro moment right there. <laughs> they don't even want my land, man. Why? Why? Ottomans, please. Please, Ottos. Come on, man. Can I trade favors for anything? Probably not. Ew. Listen, you win some, you lose some. I gotta ally the Mamluks now. <laughs> well, 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 how the turntables? Can I ally someone else? Alright, the Great Horde, not bad, not bad. A Jam? They seem pretty powerful. Well, this isn't such a bad alliance network now, is it? The Ottomans would still declare on me though. <laughs> Alright, so I've been warned by the Ottomans and AQ. I literally can't declare on anyone. Well, I can declare on QQ, call in these guys maybe. You know, warnings are only valid for nations both of you guys border. I mean, gotta go with Martial Society, right? Okay. So so, you guys know the guys I managed to ally. I also allied Hungary, by the way. And uh, the Ottomans, well, they wiped out Byzantium, as you guys can see. But now they're at war with Epirus. But that's not the only thing. They're also at war with Poland, Lithuania, and Moldavia. Because Epirus allied Poland, apparently. Either way, I think this is actually a good opportunity to declare on them. Even though it's very early, they might be stronger than me. Well, of course they are. They're the Ottomans. But the Mamluks would join me. So, uh, this might actually be a good time to declare on them. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, right? What's the worst that can happen? Boom. Let's go. Uh, let me get, uh, let me get the free company too. Please, please, Mamluks, help me out of here. All right, not looking too bad, to be honest. We almost fully have Anatolia. They're still busy with Poland and Lithuania. I think most of their armies are up here. And, uh, yeah, let's see mill access. Actually, can they get over here from over here? Hmm, actually, they can't walk through Trebizond and, uh, QQ in Sam's case, so that's pretty good. The only place they can come at me, bro, is, uh, from here. So let's see, let's see. Bro, I wish I could call Hungary in. Attitude, man. How could they not hate the Ottomans? Jesus. All right, they ended the war with Epirus. Of course, they won, and they've turned their attention to me. As we can see, we have 40,000 Ottoman troops crossing from Gallipoli to Biga. And boys and girls, that's my cue to get out of this war. Now, let's see what we can take. I need these provinces right here to form a rum. Eh, okay, okay, so we can get them. We can get them. And uh, I feel like that's pretty much everything we can get. Now, I'm going to be getting these provinces anyway, so maybe I should be taking something else, but I do think Coachelli is pretty important important to take actually. So maybe something like this, the provinces we need, and let me get some cash maybe? Yeah, 123 ducats, nice. Okay, wow, our first victory with the Ottomans, and it's 1462. Uh, they're gonna be declaring on me if I don't declare on them once again. Let's see your truce, all right, all right. Nine years, not too bad, AE is pretty bad, but only with the Ottomans. I feel like QQ has to be my next target. Oh, by the way, yeah, I was gonna release, well, not a retina. Let me release Germion from Ankara. That'll turn it to a level 3 fort. Nice. And they got some cores over here. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. I would release a retina too, but they have a bunch more cores on my provinces. So it's not something I want to do. Either way, let's destroy this free company and uh, chill for a bit. Pretty nice start. Hopefully I don't jinx it. And they warned me once again. That's fine. That's fine. Oh wait, that might actually be a problem because if they start bordering QQ, then I'm gonna have to fight them if I fight QQ too. Oh my god. Can't get out of these warnings, man. Can't get out of the warnings. Well, the worst has come true. The Ottomans border QQ, which means if I want to declare on them, yep. <laughs> Dude, I have literally nowhere to go. My next war has to be with the Ottomans. I mean, it's just... Oh right, it's, it's the other way around too. 
If I fight the Ottomans, I fight QQ as well. Maybe we should do a tall playthrough, huh? Not expand anymore. <laughs> Please help. The real question is, now what? Oh wait, are QQ not warning me anymore? All right, not bad, which means if I fight the Ottomans, I won't fight QQ. All right, now all I gotta do is get all of these guys to join me versus the Ottomans. It's gonna be uh, pretty tough, to say the least. Oh, this might be a good opportunity to fight QQ, actually. I will accept this. All right, so I did join a Jam's War. This is what it's looking like right now. I still can't tell if we're gonna win or lose, but things are looking up, to be honest. So I guess a Jam just decided to white piece. <sighs> All right, what should we take here, huh? What do you guys think about quantity? Cringe meta, I know. All right, so the Ottomans are in a war with Genoa and uh, some other smaller guys. And I would actually declare on them, but my uh, wonderful vassal of Girmion over here has decided to give them all military access. So now the Ottomans are just walking around all over Anatolia. Thanks, Girmion. You're a wonderful subject. I can't wait to annex these guys. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. Should I declare on the Ottomans or not? I mean, we gotta try something, right? Let's uh, do a reconquest for uh, that province right there. This is gonna be hard. Let's do it. Bold move, Mamlux. Bold move, but uh, this is not something you should be doing, man. Pretty unfortunate, but let's catch this battle where my ally, the Mamlux, is not gonna do too well. Yep. And that's an oof right there. Ooh. Hungary have finally decided to stop being uh, scared. Let's call them in. Nice. Alright, this is definitely winnable now. I was questioning my abilities uh, with just me and the Mamluks, but this is definitely winnable. Are the Ottomans still at war with Genoa? They are, they are. Alright, let's uh, let's try and decimate them even more this time, huh? Excellent, they even stepped off of Coachelli. War's not going too bad, to be honest. Um, the problem is getting over here and sieging down the Balkans. Obviously, Hungary isn't capable of doing that. And I can't even peace out for Girmian's cores, so yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this going. The Ottomans, they are starting to enter sort of around here. We'll see what they do though. All right, we're still looking good. They're at low enthusiasm right now. Hungary is finally starting to do stuff in the Balkans and uh, looks like the Mamluks are on their way uh, over there too. Meanwhile, I'm just standing right here. Nice. All right, it's time to peace out because it's about to be game over. So I'm gonna give these cores back to my subject Germion over here. Nice. I'm gonna take Biga and build another fort over there. So that's pretty sweet. And I think I'm also gonna take Trabzon because it's a fort. There we go. And uh, a couple of ducats. There we go, 96 ducats. Bro, who said fighting the Ottomans is hard, man? That's our second victory in a row versus them. This A to Z challenge, it's starting to get easier by the episode, man. I'm telling you guys. Let's get a religious society. All right, I need money. Let's declare on QQ and uh, let the Mamluks and Ajam do all the dirty work for us. While we sit back and relax. Reconquest? Yes. Go do your thing, guys. Don't mind me, I'm just chilling right here in Caraman. Well, I guess we've beaten QQ up enough. Money, war reps provinces. Well, you guys know how I feel about continuing our bankruptcy tradition. Let's see if we do it this early in the game. Right now I'm just chilling and trying not to go bankrupt. <laughs> Classic. That pretty much sums up uh, every A to Z episode. Right now I'm just chilling and trying not to go bankrupt. Here's something nice. I can ally Austria. Sweet. All right. Our alliance network is pretty good right now, so no one should be declaring on us, probably not even the Ottomans. Now the thing is, we need to wait for most of these guys to join me versus the Ottomans, since they have also allied Morocco. But easy enough, man, easy enough. We're just gonna be currying favors with these guys. Gentlemen, the time has come to declare a third war against the Ottomans. Call on Hungary, call on Austria, call on the Mamluks. This is definitely winnable, depending on if the Mamluks try and go for Morocco and uh, if Austria and Hungary show themselves to be competent. Austria is pretty strong, they did get half of Burgundy. So uh, let's declare for this province, I guess. All right, I gotta max them out this time, man. I gotta max them out. I've been taking like 30, 40% war score all the time. I feel like I have to 100% them now. Bro, I forgot about their age siege thing. The guns of Urban, they just breezed through my coastal fort here in Bega with local defensiveness on. Wow. But we seem to be winning the naval battles and uh, Austria is already in Constantinople and Croatia seems to be in Salonik. So uh, not bad. I do want them to mainly focus on Austria and Hungary while uh, me and the Mamluks can do stuff over here. I'm not kidding you guys. Guys, they just retook Salonik in a month. No, it wasn't like before a month takes over and there's no garrison. Regular siege, they just took it in a month. You know, I usually laugh at posts when I see people that say the Ottoman AI cheats sieges, but uh, I understand how those people could feel like that. But uh, no, the Ottoman AI does not 
cheat in sieges, even though they do them extremely fast, especially around this time, once they get cannons and the guns of urban. All right, we've managed to pretty much fully siege the Ottomans' uh, main core right here, with the exception of the Pontic Steppe, where their army is. I think it's somewhere up here. I just saw 50-something K stack walking around. The problem is we can't really get to Morocco, or at least the Mamluks don't want to go over to Morocco. I do already have 72% war score though. So once I take this fort right here, I'm probably gonna peace out. And once the Mamluks take this one down here. Quantity eco baby, I'm a slave to the matter, what can I say? Alright, well. I've sieged down pretty much everything I can siege, the only thing left to do is beat up their army, which is gonna be very costly and very annoying. 82% war score, I feel like it's enough, can I peace out Morocco? No, not yet, okay. So first of all, I'm gonna take all of the Mamluks money, but I'm only gonna get 226 ducats, so that's not actually a good choice. Let's war reps them, and uh, let's, let's take their kryptonite, or their power source? Taking it would make it their kryptonite, but it isn't. I'm talking about Constantinople. So, take Constantinople, huge coalition, blah blah blah, don't care. I'm also gonna take Gallipoli. I love them forts, what can I say? And some other stuff over here. Something like this maybe? Yeah. Boom, there we go. Nice. The question is, should I release Bez? Eh, I'll think about it. Either way, now that the Ottomans don't have Constantinople, they are much weaker. I'm probably not gonna release Bez, since Constantinople is Turkish and Sunni, and it gives me a lot of benefits. Might move my capital there, to be honest. Bruh, Venice just declared war on the Ottomans. Venice on the Ottomans, not the other way around. <laughs> By the way, if you guys are thinking, okay, why don't you form Rum, you have the provinces? Well, I need the Ottomans to not exist, and that's also another reason I'm not releasing Byzantium. So, uh, I just need to beat up the Ottomans, finish them off. Still chilling by the way, still trying not to go bankrupt. Oof. Bra Hungary just declared on the Ottomans. Well, not on the Ottomans, on Ragusa. Wait, does Ragusa even exist? Oh, they do, in these two provinces. And now Hungary are fighting Ragusa, the Ottomans, and the Pope. Why aren't they allied to Austria anymore? Now I have to help them out. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna regret doing this, but uh, sure, I'll help them out. Ah, I just walked straight into a 30k Ottoman stack. I don't have any armies. These dudes are taking my forts in like three days, I swear. Is Hungary the most incompetent AI in EU4? I like to think so. Ah, I went bankrupt. Wonderful. Ah, nice. Tradition fulfilled. Play the checkmark sound effect. Or the, you know, hotel bell dinging sound effect? Yeah, that one. Hey now, internal conflicts, how you guys doing? And they ended the war. Thanks for bankrupting me, guys. You're a very nice ally. I'm kinda salty, not gonna lie. Hey, internal conflicts. Dire times are ahead of us. You guys may think I'm doing, you know, all these bankruptcies and disasters on purpose, but uh, but actually, actually, yes, I am doing him on purpose, haha. <laughs> Funny, right? I'm not doing it on purpose. Moving capital to Constantinople. Boom. Well. I don't know, I guess the time has come, huh? Let's call in hungry- Oh, okay, let's wait a little bit. <laughs> okay, now they'd come. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I am gonna have to fight QQ and Tunis, but uh, hopefully I'm not gonna have to fight anyone. But instead, my allies can do all the dirty work. Go ahead, my minions. Go ahead, as you have been doing the entire campaign. Just siege down my enemies while I chill. You know, that's really a secret to beating up the Ottomans. Ally 52 nations, let them do all the dirty work. And that's pretty much any guide for beating the Mamluks. I mean the Ottomans. Well, the Mamluks too. I don't know who said this war stuff is hard, man. It's, it's totally not. It's totally not. Oh, puny Ottomans. <laughs> no, man. Easy, man. Easy. Let's, uh, let's take lots of stuff from the Ottomans, um, maybe something like this. Oh, I do want more reps from them, so I actually won't take, I don't know, this. Yeah, we'll do something like this. Nice. Ottomans are shrieking, we're pretty close to forming rum, and after that, we're gonna be taking Rome. Everyone knows that Akkun Lu's historical rival was <laughs> the Teutonic Order. <laughs> I feel like I should release Bulgaria. Nice. Meanwhile, Austria have just been decimating France, man. <laughs> Ottomans suffering even more. You love to see it. You really do. Pretty soon, they're gonna be suffering by my hand, too. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. What else is there to do? I really don't know at this point. I really don't know. The only difference is I'm actually gonna be involved in this war. Wow, I actually just uh, beat the Ottomans. It just gets easier and easier. I wish someone else would declare on them, too. So, you know, I'm not the only one that has to do the dirty work. And yeah, I know I'm not consolidating, but uh, oh well. It is what it is. Done. Where's their 1,000 cavalry they have? Hmm. Oh, it's up here. It's time to say goodbye. How about we do something like this? 
Sweet. Hey, Poland declare war on them. Maybe they can uh, take care of them a little bit so I won't have to fight all the wars. Please, come on. Someone full annex them already. Ooh, Circassia just declared on them too. Yeah, of course I'll give you access. Now I do have to work on a way to get to Rome. Basically build a spy network on the Pope. Or else I might just have to no see be the Pope. You know, Hungary has helped me out so many times, but I'm just tired of helping them out. Huh, I guess I'm a bad ally. So I just joined Austria in this war. Maybe they'll give me a Ragusa if I help out enough, when that means that I can build a spy network on the Pope. No need for no CB. Should we become a horde? I know we became one last time as a uh, and tomorrow down here, but it's just so much fun, Jan. There we go, we're a horde. Well, they didn't give me anything. <laughs> Pretty expected though, pretty expected. Uh, let's beat up the Ottomans again. And we can use the Tribal Conquest CB. Boom. To be honest, I didn't even notice I was fighting QQ. <laughs> can't believe this is all I can take, bro. I can't believe it. Please, someone else declare on them, please. I'm actually not gonna do this. So maybe Byzantium can pop out, but I'm gonna take stuff over there. Huh. Still the same, still the same. But at least now we can spy on the Pope, huh? You know, funny thing, I actually just noticed we can't form rum if we're a horde. So, uh, looks like that didn't work out. I'm gonna have to go with, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with a monarchy. Ikta? Why not? At least now I got tons of crownland. I think it's time to declare on the Pope, huh? What do you guys think? Yeah. Let's do it. Bruh, the Pope's two miltex ahead of me, he just wiped my armies. Had to resort to the independent and grand company. Finally, I got to Rome. Bruh, that took a while. Rome is mine. Boom. Alright, let's finish these guys off, huh? Can you guys notice me getting more and more annoyed as the video progresses? <laughs> let's, uh, let's make them return some course, huh? Let's give this back to Crimea, give this back to Venice, Albania. Yeah, something like this. Look, they cost so much. They cost so much. Avalonia is 6% war score. If I take it, it's another 6. So it really doesn't matter. To be honest, there we go. Boom. All right, now here's something I'm gonna do. Let me just get over here. Yep. Truce break. What's nice is Crimea also just declared on them. Sweet. Well, I guess you can't have them all, huh? Things were looking up for almost the entire game. But alas, the rebels and disasters towards the end broke my nation. A bunch of nations have won their independence, such as Byzantium, Dulkadir, Iraq. The Ottomans have gotten back a bunch of their cores, and I am left with this. So, it seems that our Ak Kuyunlu poured rum and conquering Rome run, <laughs> hey, is a failure. That's fine. That's fine. Last week was inconclusive. Maybe a win, maybe a fail. And the last couple of ones before that were wins. So it was definitely time for a fail. That has been our Akkuyunlu A to Z with a little underwhelming and disappointing end. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe since only 30% of you are subscribed and you can become a member today. And join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.